So the rate of change for the height of water collecting in my bucket as it rains is inversely proportional to the current depth of water in the bucket. This is enough information to write a differential equation. So that rate of change, that's gonna be our derivative. And since we're looking at the rate of change for the height of water in the bucket, I'm gonna go ahead and call that dH, dt. So that's our rate of change part. Now that phrase, inversely proportional to, This is, a, this is a phrase that you might remember from a pre-calc class or like an Algebra 2 class. Um, proportional to means it's going to be equal to a constant times, but the inversely means that this is going to be equal to a constant divided by. That's the inversely part, is the divided by. And we needed this inversely proportional to the current depth of water in the bucket. Well, if I think about my bucket, there's my bucket, and here's the water, then the depth of the water in my bucket is really the height of the water in my bucket, which means this says that I should be inversely proportional to h. This is now a differential equation that we can separate and integrate. I can multiply by h over here to have h dh is equal to k dt, and then we can integrate both sides and solve for h. Now, it didn't give us an initial condition here, but I could have said that we start with one inch of water in the bucket, and if I added that piece that we start with one inch of water in the bucket, then that means our initial condition would be that when t equals zero, h was equal to one. And that would be our initial condition. <laughs>